I caught my ex-wife with my childhood friend. This was posted in another community. But after discovering Reddit a few days ago, I decided to publish my experience on another forum, since I listened to all of the advice and truly loved chatting to everyone. This is going to be a very long article. For obvious reasons, I shall not disclose anyone's name. I'm returning home after a psychologically draining seven-month ordeal. I wish I could tell you what I did, but I can't. What I can tell is that those seven months were riddled with nightmares, horrible mental disorders, and the most heartbreaking sadness I thought I'd ever experience. What I can say is that after such a heinous event, we were mentally defeated by remorse. My colleague, whom I regarded to be my brother, pulled out his firearm and shot himself directly in front of me. After I urged him not die, he replied that he had no family, nothing to return to, and that living with this guilt would kill him. He wanted to put an end to the agony right then and there. I begged him not to, telling him that he was my brother, that I was his family, but it wasn't enough. His brains are in my face, my ears are ringing and others are pouring in. My thoughts became blank. I was unable to sleep or eat. My kids called me on Skype and I let it ring while looking at the screen but thinking about my brother. I spent a lot of time talking to a professional. I was told to go home. Before I begin, I was taught that military women are the most dangerous snakes. They take you for granted and never let you take your gaze away from them. So I simply followed their advice and set out to prove everyone incorrect. I didn't mention when I'd arrive, but I had big vacation plans to compensate. I was warned not to tell her when I'd be returning home. I've been married to my wife for five years. Four are coupled, one is married. A pair of twins, two girls, both under the age of two at the time I'm driven home. I see my vehicle, my lovely house, but what matters most is embracing my family after seven months apart. When I walk in, there is no one there. There was no one in the pool when I checked. As I approach my room, I hear groaning. As I get closer, I see that my door is closed. That's my wife whining. The door is locked, but I have a door that scans mine or my wife's fingerprints. When I opened the door, I saw my wife bent over, and the other gentleman was none other than my closest buddy, the wedding's best man. I grew up with this person. I met him when I was six, and he was five, since the first grade. This was my younger brother. My thoughts became blank. The following is what I heard. He's going to die because you're going to kill him. Please stop. My wife pushed against my back, and he onto me, weeping and terrified. All I felt was a rush of adrenaline. My heart was racing like I just ran a marathon, and my hands were shaking. I didn't realize where I was until I glanced down. What I saw was a nude lady cringing and apologizing to me, and a naked male oozing blood profusely. I start weeping, since I almost murdered my sibling. I didn't intend to harm him. When I inquired whether I had injured her, she answered no. I begin to out on her. Do you have any idea what I had to go through? All of those people, all this strength, and for what reason? To return home and see you with him. Nightmares, depression, hate, and paranoia for seven months. I'm wrecking stuff while yelling at her. I punched the wall and drilled roughly 15 holes for my bed, frames, dresser, television, and door. I flipped over the bed. I pretty much wrecked the room. Neighbors phoned the police. Cops discovered me sitting in a corner, blanked out. Both were picked up by EMT and sent to the hospital. They sewed my hands. As for him, he had a fractured nose, broken arm, dislocated shoulder, and other injuries. I was deafeningly, deafeningly, deafeningly that there was no rage, despair, remorse, or anything else. My wife was on her knees, pleading for pardon. I was thinking of my brother when I looked at her. I can't believe I couldn't rescue him from himself. What kind of failure am I? My karma was to return home to this lady. My children's footsteps were immediately audible to me. Daddy. They yelled as soon as they spotted me. They get onto the bed and begin to cuddle me. I immediately burst into tears. I took them in my hands and asked her if they were mine. They did not resemble me from the minute they were born. I laughed it off since I've always felt I didn't look like my father, yet I still got his strange black nipple on my left breast and lighter nipple on my right chest, as well as green eyes. The females had nothing. THR green eyes, but my mother-in-law has green eyes as well. I inquired whether they were mine. Tears begin to flow from both of us. She cries, of course they are. According to cops, he intends to seek charges. I'm similar to what about filing charges? Well, I'll tell you what, it's all his and her fault. The officers were completely unaware. I informed them about my background and job. I informed them that I had been gone for over eight months. 
Let us refer to the backstabber as, I told him that I'd known since first grade and that he'd been my best man at my wedding. This is why I don't trust any lady, the police agreed. My wife sobbed as she walked out of the room, looking down. The officers informed me that they were releasing me. That they have no idea what I'm going through they referred to me as a hero, thanked me for my service, and wished me well. I'm not a hero. I'm just a guy who enlisted for the money and perks and couldn't rescue his buddy. That does not strike me as heroic. I go home, and my wife says she wants to come with me so we can speak about it. I tell her to take care of her lover. She begins to weep once again. I left the children with her since I had a lot of tears to cry on my way home. It was all a haze till I got home. I awoke on the sofa, close to her dozing on the rough floor. I lift her up and place her on the sofa. We had our DNA checked two weeks later, and all three of us completed the lie detector exam. Everything was disclosed at this point. My world was shattered into a million pieces. I was absolutely devoted to her. I adore this lady so much that it's difficult to convey since whatever I say will be an understatement. She has cheated on me from the day we met. I never observed any indications. She just cheated with, but she still cheated. She's been taking advantage of my earnings. I have a piece of paper that said I'm not the father of my two small planets. That father was a jerk. Not only that, but she's pregnant once again. He was enraged by what I had done to him and spilled the beans. His words had activate your eyes. You've been the one earning money. You've been caring for my children while I sit back and play video games. She's been unfaithful from the beginning. Remember when we went to see The Incredible Hulk at the movies? That was in 2008. Do you recall how irritated and upset she was with you for no apparent reason? You weren't touching her, much alone talking to her or gazing at her, weren't you? That was all a ruse to get her home. She had no intention of returning home. Instead, she arrived to my residence. Remember all the presents she gave you and tricked you into thinking they were purchased out of love. Okay, it was to let your defenses down and make it easier for her to cheat. You're not my brother. You are the caretaker for my children and my source of income. You purchased me a vehicle, a house, helped me pay for my college education, and have been caring for my children. Guess what? You're going to keep doing the same thing. You were gone for a moment, but I went to your home to be with her. Wife yelled at him, shut the F up. I was completely deafeningly 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 deafened as my shattered world was unveiled. She asked whether she was in love with both of them, and she responded yes. She is speaking the truth, according to the lie detector. That simply made matters worse. Wife was grabbing me and shouting up and down that it was a lie, relating to what said to me. I burst out weeping and told her, you and the girls were the nicest thing to happen to me. I took care of everything for us. I purchased us a house, and we did so much other. We studied together, worked together, graduated together, and even started a family together. Seeing your grin was my daily aim because I love your laugh, enjoy embracing you, and simply waking up next to you was a pleasure I can't express. And now I've got a piece of paper saying those females were never mine. Another piece of paper informing me I was nothing more than a toy. She had a blank expression on her face with nothing but tears streaming down her cheeks like a torrent. For the record, you never had a family with her. I did. You were only looking after my family for me. How can someone who has referred to me as his brother for so long be so cold to me? I have no idea. That day, I couldn't sleep. I left the house to go for a stroll. I walked for more than 13 hours. I left my phone at home, so there were no interruptions. I was discovered sobbing on a park seat. I know a guy isn't meant to weep, yet I can't eat sleep or stop crying. All I did was vomit and cry. I couldn't look at the females the same way again. Divorce papers were filed. She returned to New York with her parents, was unemployed, and had lost his house. His automobile was registered in my name, as was his house. Everything belonged to me. I earned six figures, and someone who doesn't even have a job ruined my life. I never helped anybody else again, much alone trusted anyone. I'm looking for expert assistance. I'm not going to wind up like my brother, who ended his own life when circumstances became tough. I'm a warrior who never gives up. My ex-wife sent me some derogatory SMS. A photo of them two kissing the twins, as well as a film of them two, revealed some heinous things to me she advised me that now that I had nothing, I should commit myself since I would be alone. That she was aware I wasn't the father, but what can a person like do for the kids? that I abandoned the twins and I wasn't the role model or father figure I thought I was, therefore, I shouldn't have walked out on them like that. Doc warned me not to be a fool. 
and she didn't send me these items. That it is he who is doing it, I think it's her. It's her phone number. I left the girls because I was afraid of what I was capable of. When I awoke one morning, there was a rifle next to me. I videotaped myself, and what I saw terrified me to death. I'd stand there for a long time. I was doing nothing but standing next to my bed like a zombie. Then I'd go back to sleep after retrieving my pistol from my finger scanning safe. Every weekend, I pay a visit to my brother's grave. This was years ago. Now, I'm a pilot with his own real estate firm who is unable to have a family because I reject every lady I meet. I will never again put my confidence in anybody. But that's just my opinion right now. I'm sure I'll have my own family one day. I'm still young, barely 33 years old. Those girls are now 9 years old, and I think about them on a daily basis. If they come to me when they're 18 years old, you can bet I'll welcome them with open arms. If you're wondering what they're doing right now, my sibling informed me he works at Best Buy. She became a nurse because she aspired to be a doctor one day. Congratulations to her.